Hello viewers! This is a tutorial on how to use the Accounts Manager module on Socinator using your Facebook account. So after opening Socinator, this is the first tab on the left side. Here you can see the different accounts from different social networks and their respective account details. Let's start by clicking the Add Account button. Let's choose Facebook as our social network. For group name, it's not really required, but if you want to group accounts together on Socinator, then type a group name here. Next, enter the email address of your Facebook account. Then type the password. Click the I button over here to reveal the password. You may also check this box to enter the proxy address, port, username, and password. Click Save when you're done. Status is not checked. Then now it's Success. So you can see the logo of the social network, the email address, the status. Then for group name, it's on group because we did not specify a group name. And then the proxy address is the local IP address. Then the friendship count, in this case, the number of Facebook friends. Now let's right click our Facebook account. You have several options here. Let's start with details. So here you can see the social network, Facebook. The group name is ungrouped. You may change it by typing a group name here. Your account name is your Facebook name, then your email address for Facebook, the password, then the website, status is success, which is what we want to see. Then last synchronized at is not updated yet, so we will update it later. Then if you want to check the advanced settings, then click this box right here. When you're ready, click the Save button. So status is trying to log in, and it's a success. Let's click Cancel. The next one is Delete Profile. We will skip this one for now, and we will return to it later. The third one is Browser Login. So this will open the Socinator browser, where you can browse using your Facebook account. So if you click the Check IP button, you can check your IP address. And the login button here will allow you to log in using your Facebook account. So you can use your Facebook account without necessarily opening the Facebook app or using your internet browser. So you can browse using Socinator. So let's close it. The next one is go to tools. So this will bring you to the accounts activity tab where you can see the different automation tools for Facebook. We have separate tutorials for each of them, so be sure to check them out. Next, we have Check Account Status. So this will check the account status in real time. Right now, it's a success. Next, we have Update Friendship. It will also update the friendship count in real time. The last one is Copy Account ID. So if you want to copy and paste your account ID somewhere, Click this one, and the account ID is successfully copied. Now let's go back to the second one, Delete Profile. So this will delete your Facebook account. It will not delete the account itself, but it will only delete the account from the Socinator app. If you're sure about this, click Delete anyways, and it's gone. Now let me show you another option in Adding Accounts. This time, you can import more than one account at the same time by simply using the Import Multiple Accounts button. So before clicking, if you hover on this button, you can see the format. So we will start with a random group name where you can group the accounts together on Socinator, followed by a colon, then the social network, which is Facebook, colon, the username, or in this case, the email address, colon, then the password. So let's click File, then click Save As. Let's call it Import Multiple.txt. Click Save. So as you can see, only one account per line. You may also import only one account. So let's delete the second one, then try to save it as another text file. Let's call it import single 
Save.txt, for example. Click Save. We can also open a spreadsheet where we can add our account details. No need to separate each detail with a colon because they are already divided into four columns. So when you're done, click File, click Save As. Then let's save it as a CSV file. Let's call it import multiple.csv. Click Save. Then we have alternate email, proxy address, proxy port for YouTube accounts. So when you're ready, let's click the button. This will open the dialog box where you can choose the text file of your account. So let's select import multiple, click open. So it successfully imported two Facebook accounts at the same time. So the status is success. FB is the group name, so we group them together. And then the friendship count is updated. The first account has zero friends. The second account has 71 friends. So if we click the select button here, it will allow us to select accounts. If we click all accounts, then it will select everything. If we deselect all, then it will deselect everything as well. If we check working accounts, it selected everything because all of them are working accounts. So let's deselect all again. If we click not working accounts, it will select those that are not working. So it did not select anything because all of them are working. If we select not checked accounts, it will select those that are not checked. All of them are checked. Then finally, we have select account by groups. So we can select the ungrouped accounts and it selected all that are ungrouped. Then FB, so it selected the Facebook accounts only. Next, we have update. So if we click update all details, it will alert us to select an account first. So we can select one or more. Let's select the FB accounts, for example. So click update again and update all details. And it will update all the details of these accounts. Next, we can check account status. So it will check the status of both accounts. So each of them is a success. Next, we have stop process. So if they're running an automation process, then it will stop. We also have stop all activity to stop all activities for both accounts. And finally, you may also update auto verify credential if you want. Next, we have the option to export. So this will export selected accounts. Select where you want them to be exported. Let's say desktop, for example. Then click select folder. So both accounts are successfully exported. So next we have delete. So this is very useful if you want to delete multiple accounts at the same time. So simply select the accounts you want to delete, then click delete anyways. And they're both gone. So the import multiple accounts will also allow you to import one account only. Select import single, for example, click open. So it only imported one account. Finally, the info button over here will allow you to know more about the module. So the accounts manager module will allow you to add or delete single account, and you may also import or export multiple accounts. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.